So welcome to Technodad Life and on today's episode what we're going to be doing is installing a multi-arch package, specifically one called Picaport, which is a photo organizer. So what is a multi-arch uh, docker? So basically a multi-arch docker is one that has multiple versions of CPU or processor architectures all packed into one. And so basically we just have to delineate which architecture we use and then it just installs like a normal docker so it's actually pretty easy once we've done that the installation is the same for any architecture so again if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and here we go now Today we're going to show you how to install what's called a multi-arch uh, container. So let's take a look at one here. So this one's called Picaport. So what is multi-arch support? And here this image you can say, see it says it supports multi-arch images. And so basically what multi-arch is, is lots of different architecture of CPUs all packed in one container. But in order for this to work on your system, you actually have to uh, input what system you're using. So say this is an AMD 64, so we would put this. If it was just 386, we'd do that. If it's ARM 32, which would be a Raspberry Pi, we'd put that. ARM 64, so on and so forth through these different things. So let's go through and see how this actually looks in reality, okay? So we're going to look up pick a port. And so we're going to pick out the whatever 4711 container there. And you can see he used to or she used to have a Raspberry Pi one, but they don't support it anymore. And that's why it's puts depreciated because they packed it all into this container. So what we're going to do is click on this container. And so right here you see it says tag. And so in this box, we're going to actually put in the parameters for our system. So I'll just show you two different examples. So if we go back to this page for an AMD 64, we just put that. And then we'll also give you an example of ARM 32 version 6, which is for a Raspberry Pi. And so all you would do is type in AMD 64 and, and then just click Start. For the Raspberry Pi, you would type in ARM32 version 6 and then click Start. So let's see how that works in person. So this is the AMD64 machine, so I'm just going to put that in there. Click Start. Once that's done, click Close. And here you can see there's our container. So we're just going to run our container. And then from here on in, everything is exactly the same, no matter which uh, architecture you're using. So we're just going to call that pick ports and restart always leave it in bridge mode and so we're going to change the host port from 80 which is our what our omd machine is to 8085 for me click plus now for a container path so for this container it doesn't show up with anything automatically when we click there so if we go back here down towards the bottom there so the first thing we have to do is copy the config file. And we're going to paste that there. Next, we're going to go down to our app data folder. And so there is our OMD base. So we'll click on app data and then simply add a pick a port file here. And so you just right click and then click new and folder and then type in pick a port there. Once you've done that, click close and then click on host path, shared folders, app data, and we'll pick the pick port two there. Okay. Hit the plus sign. Go back to our directions there and copy server, copy server slash photos. Go back. We're going to paste that there. And then we're going to go back to our shared folders, go down to media and just click on our folders or photos folder. 
click OK, and then click plus, and then click save. And so now it's up and running. And so basically, again, this one is on 8085. So let's take a look there. So what we'll do is we'll copy our IP address and then paste there and then put colon 8085 and then hit enter. And so that's how we install a multi-arch Docker. And so if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye bye.